ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਰੇਡੀਓ ਯੂਐਸਏ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਹੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫੇਰ ਜੀ ਆਇਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੈਲੀਫੋਰਨੀਆ ਦੀ ਰਾਜਧਾਨੀ ਸੈਕਰਾਮੈਂਟੋ ਦੀ ਕੈਪੀਟਲ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਫਾਰਮਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਸਟ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਆ ਸੋ ਇੱਥੇ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਰਨ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਹੋਦਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਊ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਵਿਦ ਅਸ ਮਾਈਕਲ ਮੇਅਰ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਅਗੇਂਸਟ ਇਨਕੰਬੈਂਟ ਜਿਮ ਕੋਸਟਾ ਸੋ ਲੈਟਸ ਟਾਕ ਟੂ ਹਿਮ ਲੈਟਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਵਾਟ ਹੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਹੇ ਹਾਊ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਡੂਇੰਗ excellent how are you <laughs> so i just uh, heard you were speaking so so how do you see this farmer protest i like that we're here at the state capitol delivering a message to our legislators saying we need the water that we know is available here in the state mm-hmm. this is a message that needs to continue not only at the state capitol but all the way to washington dc and we need to deliver the solutions that are available to bring water back to our farmers how uh, if you get elected how do you see how do you will how what your voice will be so my advice would be we need to do this in a sustainable way and recognize the environmental impact that this is causing not only to our central valley but the entire state and and globally to the uh food economy that 1/7 of the world has provided their ag from here in California so that solution is going to be tied together in how we deal and deliver energy uh and that energy is also going to be used to produce water so we will be producing water as well as properly managing our water so this year federal government said that uh, we might not be giving any water to the state so if you are at the federal level what do you see how you can change that influence why well, I, i would change the influence and say we absolutely are giving water to california this is a national security issue food insecurities are are attacking the world right now globally we're having food insecurities. California provides 1/7 of the world's ag. We cannot at this time be decreasing our production in ag in California. We need to increase and we're going to do that by delivering the water that is already available, invest in infrastructure so we can actually store water in times of surplus and then work on our energy crisis here in California and deliver nuclear power with desalinization plants so we are now producing water and providing that water for our farmers. So there is multiple ways to address and deal with this and there are simple federal solutions and if we're not doing this it is the failure of the leadership in the state and and in the federal government. Are you any related to farming as well? Yes, my uh my wife's family has been farming for multi-generations in California on the board for Western Growers for over 20 years. Uh but my background is actually in nuclear power production. Okay. Uh federal law enforcement as a FBI special agent. and as a business owner in aviation so the last remaining nuclear plant they just voted to keep it running do you do you have a plan to increase more nuclear power over here absolutely and so the nuclear power anyone who has any concerns about it every single us navy submarine has a nuclear power plant on it and there are sailors living directly next to it every us nuclear aircraft carrier has two nuclear plants on it with about 6000 people living next to it in war. So if anyone has concerns of that, it is the only way to do a uh, carbon neutral and environmentally sustainable energy at scale that can be able to provide the power needed to hit the targeted goals here in California for for energy. And that electricity will be used for desalinization just like we do in all of our warships to provide water and abundance for the people. And so we're not taking water from our farmers to go to these these areas. So yeah so so there are there's a lot of issues regarding this uh, uh so do you think that there's a propaganda against nuclear energy then that that's what people are so afraid of it There are people who have uh, concerns against nuclear energy and that that goes back all the way to Jimmy Carter is, uh, but the reality is what we have now for nuclear power is not the same nuclear energy that was discussed 20 30 years ago we are now able to actually deal with our spent nuclear fuel and use that to produce energy so it's actually cleaning up our our nuclear waste and now turning into useful energy so and that's one solution of many that are are available right now so by 2035 california people sitting right here they said that we will not be using any gas powered engines or anything no sales of that uh, do you think our infrastructure or grid is ready for that much electricity use or uh, produ- production absolutely not and i think it's an incredibly destructive to well frankly our transportation industry so class 8 trucking how are we supposed to move our commodities our produce every good there's not rail yards lining up behind every grocery store we depend on trucking here in California and there's simple solutions on how we can do that with the goals that are had but it is not going to be 
building out an infrastructure for charging capabilities of all of these electric vehicles where these electric vehicles need batteries that are frankly produced on uh, environmentally catastrophic uh, products. There's hydrogen that is a simple solution to deliver electricity to these vehicles that can be done and can be easily deployed and, and, and attainable here all throughout the state. So uh, what do you want to say to the farmers who are listening right now? Uh, to the farmers that are listening is, I hear you, my family farms, and because of farming and because of the state is the reason why I'm running for office. I'm here to fight and deliver this. I'm taking time away from my business and my family to actually deliver solutions. And I also encourage any other farmer to step up and start running for office in your community. We need to take back our local governments and our federal government and actually start delivering with the business acumen that you have in farming and put it back to work in, in the government. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, is on apne naal Michael Mayer jede ki right now incumbent Jim Costa de khilaf election de vich aa. So, inna diyan tusi vichar sunne nuclear power nu leke vi, electricity nu leke vi te farming nu leke vi. So, tusi jeda decide karna vi kiddar le vaase nu vote pauni aa te inniyan gallan de naal hon main vi jaach lena hai mere vallon vi sab nu pyar bhari sat sri akal.